Wow, it actually really does look like a movie. <laughs> Yo! Oh my- Ooh, okay. Oh, Irene can't stare at me like- Yo, she's like staring into my soul. Jeez, look at that hand cutting. Wow. This is a very fun and vibrant song. Really, the dancing is the biggest thing here. You- How do you- Uh, what- What are you doing? It's so cool, but you can't, like, follow- It's just- uh. Oh, I can- Oh, no, we can't follow it, no. Can you imagine the amount of time they had to do to- Memorize all this? It looks so simple, but it's so intense, man. I think I might actually prefer this over Monster. No, I, I definitely- Ooh, okay. Oh, there's no- It's not done. Is it done? Oh, it's not done! Tony Mida. Hello everyone, it's Tony. Happy evening, happy morning, happy whatever day it is for you guys. But for me, it's the evening. It's actually really late at night. But we can't sleep because Red Velvet's Irene and Sergi have released another music video off their monster debut subunit uh, group uh, album. <laughs> That's a big, big sentence right there. Titled, uh, Naughty. So this is another song off their Monster album. As I mentioned, this being Red Velvet's first subunit, being Irene and Sogi doing a subunit. And we have reacted actually to the Monster official lyric video as well as the official music video. And I will be linking those both in the description below if you do want to go check those out. I highly recommend you at least check out one of them because they are quite a lot of fun to watch. And it really did surprise me the route they took on this and i haven't actually looked into the episode teaser for naughty but i know that during the release of the album a lot of the red velvet members and also other k-pop idols that are quite close at least to or at least known to have friends related to red velvet members they were also hyping up a lot naughty so it is it does make a lot of sense to me that this also got a music video now i didn't actually look at the teaser for say but i did get quickly looks at little glances of the snippets that it was like it seems like very more kind of different style a lot more cinematic a lot more almost as if we were watching a real life type of movie for something when compared to monster monster was a bit brighter a bit like more vibrant and all that but again really love these girls really excited to watch this now with further without further ado guys let's simply get into it jinbi ready she check how high is my volume anyways oh it's pretty high Okay, oh, I re- oh, sit. She- wow, it actually really does look like a movie. Yo, <laughs> yo, oh my- Ooh, okay, oh, Irene can't stare at me like- Yo, she's like staring into my soul. <laughs> Whoa, this is so cool. It looks like one of those like really like heavily- I swear, I wouldn't be surprised if they came out and be like, Revlon. <laughs> it looks like one of those- Oh, or like a car, you know? They have its, her outfit's so sexy though. Definitely a different vibe from Naughty. Ooh. Wow, <laughs> this is so different from Monster. But like, they still have this really crazy choreo. That's... Yo, these hand gestures. Jeez, look at that hand cutting. Wow. Wow, Irene really gets to show off her really great vocals in here. So does Sergi, but like, you know, Sergi we already know. It's just like Irene's usually the rapper. Okay. This is a very fun and vibrant song. Can we? But the dancing, I think, really, the dancing is the biggest thing here. It's. Oh, that was so cool. Yo, Irene, you. How do you. Uh, what? <laughs> what are you doing? It's so cool, but you can't like follow it. 
<laughs> the hand gestures and everything. I think of every this I just realized is kind of weird as a where for me to pause, but I just like really think that this overall the song is very fun, very vibrant. It's different definitely from Monster. It's not as ominous. It's, it's more in the realm of kind of like a jazzy, vibrant type of like fun type of beat to listen to. And at the same time though, it still has that different S feeling from compared to a Red Velvet song. Here you get Sergi's vocals, but you also get more Irene. I think that when compared to Monster, Monster you had more of I uh, Sergi's doing more of like the high note singing as she usually does, but you did get to hear a bit of Irene type of singing. Here you really do get to hear more Irene singing and hold on to those longer type of notes. So she really gets to show off a bit more of her vocal chops when compared to Monster. But again, we know already that Sergi is an amazing singer also. The more impressive thing I think of overall is just this crazy like synchronicity between the two of them for this dancing because it's just great like the hand cutting like the coordination between everything just really crazy and it's like really one of those type of things that you would see in like these professional duet dancers like the pairs they're so in sync they really know each other super well and you really get to see that they put so much dedication into preparing for this and just absolutely amazing Don't you get it? I even this is so cool how they do it like they they played with the video from there I really enjoy also this like black and white style it kind of like adds this like noir-esque retro feel but also adds this like vibrant of sexy because it <laughs> this is so cool <laughs> Yo, oh, that was cool. Naughty. These effects are awesome. Oh, I can. Oh, no, we can't follow it. No, I was. It started off slow. Like, can you imagine the amount of time they had to do to memorize all this? Because it's not the same. It has. Oh, cool, they put light on now. This is so in- It looks so simple, but it's so intense, man. Oh, there's like a little fluctuation. There's like a retro-ish vibe in there. Like, the modifications. But again, we're still playing off this like duality and like the monster. I just noticed that. So like in the video for monster, we also got monster middle note and high note version reaction, which I will also include in the description for the performance. They had one white, all white outfit and one all black outfit. So again, we're kind of seeing that similar idea represented here. You have the black and white uh, outfits. And I think it represents again, like the duality between the two of them. You have like the visuals are representing kind of like an innocent, nice, pure side, but on the inside, you're more dark evil, or even on the outside, you're the opposite. You're more, you see more ominous, but on the inside, you're like really angelic, really kind. So I think they're really playing again in this duality of like the idea that monster is internal versus external type of thing. So overall, very cool how they kind of keep that flow throughout the whole album and keeping this like same type of visual. And again, this video has like the black and white concept, and I think it really makes it cool. Kind of kind of reminds you like a bit of like a James Bond esque type of movie. At the same time, also reminds you a lot of like those commercials that they do. Like I don't know why, but I think. For based from the opening and then just the whole how they look and everything it reminds me a lot of like if they were to do like a like revlon or like l'oreal like high-end high luxury shoot or something like luxury in terms of like the concept at least it could also be the brand but in terms of just how the visual would be represented i'm always expecting them to be like pulling out something it's like buy it now you know but it looks really cool in that sense so i'm really really enjoying the visuals and it even has like a bit of like pop. Honestly, I might actually pref I think I might actually prefer this over Monster. No, I, I definitely. Ooh, okay. Oh, there's no it's not done. Is it done? Oh, it's not done. It's like heavily CG'd out effect really gives it the look I feel like of a 
high-end luxury commercial type of video. Like I swear, if they sold something, I would buy it right now. It's like Jane, this is like future-esque. So guys, that was Red Velvet's Irene and Sergei's naughty music video. Wow, I am so, so impressed by the whole vibe of the song. I was not expecting that because I've only actually listened to the Monster album, the Monster track, and that track was like very poppy, very different, very ominous almost. It did go in like a more darker gravure, like almost essence and style in concept video. So when I heard Naughty, I was like, wow, this is off the same album. I was very, very shocked and very surprised, but very pleasantly surprised. Right now, I think Honest Mo Monster is here and then you have Naughty. Naughty comes up here. Naughty is definitely, in my personal opinion, the better of the two songs that I've listened to so far. It's a lot brighter. It's a little bit more jazzy. I feel like it definitely fits them more as a duo, even just generally their image too, because I really can't see Irene or Ziggy, because if you know, like if you've seen them outside of performances, they have this like very bubbly, bright personality, very funny, very jovial, very fun, and it just doesn't suit them, I find, to have this like darker aspect. So I think that definitely this kind of gives you a bridge in between the two. You still have like the sexy, the fun, and the playful with the how the music is, but you still have the very serious, sexy, dark, ominous, at the same time yet very innocent angelic type of side to them and this song definitely gives them more vocal lines in distribution in terms of like singing and a built in just like performance than when compared to monster monster had a lot more openings for dance breaks but not a lot of chance to sing here you do get a bit more chances to be singing and it really gets to show off more of their vocal chops which i also really get to appreciate but you still get to see a lot of the dancing you know the dancing here it's very different i have yet to see a group that does like super hand like I think it's called hand tidying, I'm pretty sure. Like this type of stuff, I'm so impressed because you usually don't see this with groups in general because it's so complicated to get it synchronized to that level. But these two really showed off how much effort they put into and how well I think they know each other because really this is something that I think I feel like professional dancers, pair of dancers take time, at least a long time to like get in sync with one another and know how one another is going to move, how the other one's going to interact with the other. So I think that the level of synchronicity and how much practice they had to have put into is just absolutely mind-blowing because it was so so impressive to watch it, the speed at what they did it, it was crazy and i like how at the one point you have a full view of sergi and the, but then you have irene doing it in the background or like in the forefront i guess you could say and then you have just overall this cool like part where it's kind of like they're doing dancing at the same time around it so it's crazy to see what they're able to do with their dancing and the song is super vibrant fun again as i mentioned it has like these cool distortions in the song with the the electric portions but it still has this old like school reminiscent jazz vibe that you have and i think that's also further influ emphasized in the idea of the black and white which again kind of brings it back to this idea of like maybe a james bond type of movie but also at the same time with the opening and the ending kind of ties it all into the idea of like this high-end luxury type of concept music video for like even what you would see in tv for like these like um luxury cosmetic or like car brands and i think that that's really cool how they pulled that all together and it's not just like a dance video and just not just a music video but it has like this very high quality production visual aesthetic so i think the whole together it really wraps this whole bundle up really really nicely and i'm super super impressed by this and i'm really glad that i stayed up late for this because this was totally worth it and i hopefully you guys enjoy this reaction and i hopefully you guys are going to stay tuned for more but with that being said guys thank you so much for watching Gamsamida. and as usual if you have any comments questions or simply want to talk feel free to leave the comment section below and i'll get to it as soon as possible but with that being said i'm going to go to bed now and i'll see you guys later Annyeonghi goodbye